Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in your day. It is December 29th, 2019, and as promised in the previous video, I have a couple of things I want to talk to you about regarding this channel and where it's headed. But first, I want you to take a listen to something that I heard the other day. This is a man named Lance Wallenau. I am not familiar with him or his uh, show, but I have heard the name before. So let's just listen to what he has to say. I was reading something that um, you need to know about, and it's a powerful document. It was leaked to NBC News. I don't know what it is with NBC, uh, how they get a hold of this stuff, but President Trump met with a private group of evangelical leaders Monday night, about 100, 120. And I'm going to read to you, thank God for the blaze, thank God for Glenn Beck, because this hasn't surfaced anywhere. I mean, I'm going to check with um, CBN. Hopefully, uh, the Christian Broadcasting Network have had the ability to get this. I can't believe this document isn't going as viral as the latest cube post or something. So if you haven't heard this, you need to hear it. Donald Trump delivered a private warning to Christian leaders about what's happening in the country and what's coming up. And he delivered it, and some weasel in the room, after he had the press leave the room and just wanted to talk to the leaders, Christian leaders, somebody recorded him. And I'm, I'm, I mean, clearly this is a weasel because it wasn't supposed to be recorded, but I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did because... I want you to hear verbatim what the president said. And I want you to share with me the indignation and frustration that our movement of Christians is so scattered, fragmented, and siloed off through the, let's be honest about it, the, the ambitions and the autonomy of Christian leaders and their donor base and their mailing lists that we don't have what the left has in terms of a coherent mechanism for communicating uh, messages. We, we got to change this thing. So here's, let me read you what the president said. Donald Trump told a group of evangelical leaders, November's midterm elections, this is 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago, that a, the elections are a referendum on your religion. This is fascinating. Donald Trump isn't now saying, hey, I'm a Christian just like you. I'm an evangelical just like you. Look, here's my mother's Bible. See, I'm a Christian. He's actually being honest with these guys, like a Isaiah 45 Cyrus. He's saying, man, I am here to protect you. I am here to help you. I, I believe in you, and I believe what you're saying is good for the country. And you got to know, folks, this is going to be a dangerous time, and a persecution is potentially on the horizon for you Christians. So listen to this. He says the midterms is going to be a referendum on your religion. Republican losses could be extremely costly. Trump made the comments at a Monday night dinner at the White House after the press left the event, and the remarks were recorded mischievously by someone in attendance, according to CNN. It's not a question of like or dislike. It's just a question that they're going to overturn everything we've done, and they're going to do it quickly and violently. See, he knows the rage and the animus and the hatred that is trying to destroy him and his family. He said, violently, he said, because there is violence. See, he sees Antifa. He sees the lawyers in the Southern District of New York that they want to destroy him financially. He sees the nature of the insidious, um, destructive, toxic uh, hatred that is in the left wing of America. And he says, there's a level of hatred and a level of anger that is just unbelievable. This is Trump, the businessman, coming in and saying, it's, it's, it's amazing surprising to him, right? Now, why did he say that? Trump was imploring the evangelical audience to vote. Now, get this. Campaign on behalf of the Republican candidates that are in your territory. I mean, you talk, you talk about... Uh... And we're going to leave it right there. We've already overstayed our welcome um, on a video that we don't have direct permission to use. That was an 18 and some change minute clip where Dr. Wallenau went further into this leaked 
um, transcript from an evangelical meeting at President Trump's request. That was a private meeting where after the opening remarks and the pleasantries, the, ple the press was requested to leave. And yet somebody recorded the comments and remarks that the president made to the evangelical leadership and then leaked it to NBC News, according to Dr. Wallenau. And as you may recall, I stopped doing news and social commentary shortly thereafter. Um, at the time, I was just fed up with what I saw. I was disappointed in Republican leadership who did not support Republican candidates, especially in my state of Michigan, where we had a viable senatorial candidate uh, in John James to run against our senior senator, Debbie Stabenow, and John James lost, not because he didn't have support from people in Michigan. He was much loved and much supported by people in Michigan, but rather because the Republican leadership in our state just doesn't support the direction that conservatives and independents and Republicans say they want. So what does this have to do with me and Halios Media? Uh, as you know, I attempted to do broader content throughout the summer and you know, it had some mixed results. Um, what I have found in my two years on this channel is, and oh, by the way, we just missed our second birthday. Happy birthday to us. What I found in my two years on this channel is that I have a handful of subscribers the number really hasn't changed very much. It might go down two and up three, but for the most part, it's a steady number of subscribers, but my subscribers never react and never uh, comment or engage in discussion. And uh, I could say to you that's disappointing, but I also know just based on um, internet traffic on YouTube, I also know that that is, I would have to have many, many more subscribers to get dialogue and comments. So that leaves me uh, kind of in a state of what do I do now? I really feel as a Christian that it's my responsibility to speak out um, and to make my voice heard. If anybody else hears it and agrees with me, fantastic. If n nobody hears it, well, then there's no point in me doing this, but if people hear it and disagree with me, that's okay too. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. What I do have a problem with is wasting my time. And by changing content over the summer, uh, I thought, you know, maybe, uh, maybe this channel was just going in the wrong direction. And, but now I'm convinced that it's not. However, because of the changes in YouTube's algorithms and the implementation of um, policy that is protective of children, uh, it's not fully implemented by any stretch of the imagination, just let me assure you. Uh, having said that, because of those changes, I feel like what I would like to say and what I feel I need to say is not going to sit well um, in the unvarnished version that I feel I should be uh, publishing on YouTube. So I am willing to move the content to a free speech platform where other like-minded people are and give it a try there. Well, you might be wondering what made me decide to make this change. This man, these images, and this book, which I am struggling to get through, uh, written 20 years ago. What you've seen over this little chat on the screen are images of the news and social reporting that we used to do, and when we turned the corner and did our aquarium series, and so the final thought on the screen might seem a little incongruous to you, but 
the truth of the matter is what I have to say is more important than uh, the apparent contradiction. You will find us on another platform and what you will find here is a three to five minute sort of commercial kind of like Jason Goodman does pointing you in the direction of fuller content. We hope to see you there and until we do I hope you are well and blessed as always. I hope that you're looking forward to the new year with joy and excitement and hope for the future. Until we see you again, take care.